Hello traders, Mark Chapman here. I'm the creator of the trademarked Trap Traders concept and welcome to today's Trap Traders Trade of the Day analysis. Today's date is the 29th of December 2015. In all good conscience, I can't really provide any daily analysis in terms of a trade setup today because it is the holiday period and volumes are really low. Trading now just wouldn't be worth the risk. So what I've decided to do is talk to you today about a couple of historical trading trap examples. We're going to start off with the trap break pullback, which is an advancement to the typical break pullback. This is a four hour chart of the euro pound. Not that it matters for these examples, it's more the analysis that's important. Always zoom out so that you can see these different structures and areas on a chart where there may be people trapped. In this example, I'd like you to pay attention to this area here. When describing a break pullback under the normal circumstances, a support and resistance trader will normally say, you need a couple of touches of a level of resistance or support, resistance in this case. And when price breaks out through the level, then you have yourself a good trade setup. And the idea is that when price breaches that level and comes back into the prior level of resistance, that's a good place to buy. However, I would suggest you want to be a little careful of that trading setup, unless it has the trap element to it. Let me explain. So we have a great level that's touched once, twice, three times, four times. So this is a nice solid level. When trading at the hard right edge, resistance traders will look at those historical structures and make decisions based on the success of those areas previously. So if traders were making money here on the way down, there's a good chance if that's happened a couple of times historically, that if it comes back into the level, they'll take those trades again. And as you can see, price does indeed sell off. And that's the key part. What we're looking for in a trap break pullback rather than just a break pullback is price to have sold off so that that provides some all important confirming price action that will draw the resistance trader into taking those shots and no sooner do they do that then price breaks strongly above the level trapping those traders in those short positions humans hate to lose and as a consequence of this there'll be some traders that are stuck in these negative candles while prices have broken higher above that level and once they realize that that level's broken should they get an opportunity to bail out at break even they'll indeed take that opportunity as i'm sure you would do the same yourself trap trading is all about understanding how you would behave under certain circumstances and then reverse engineering your own behavior to understand the behavior of the broader market so as price comes back into that location those traders that sold will look to get out of break even because a scratch trade is the second best trade a trader can have the reality is most traders expectations adjust when they realize they're offside in a trade and it's not all about the money at that point. It's more about, can we get out of this alive? So as price comes back into that level, they can't believe their luck and they'll start exiting at break even as price touches and breaches inside the level. And because of that, that's going to create demand. Because if you sold at that level of resistance, you must buy to exit. And then that creates the opportunity to go along and trade this pair to the upside, knowing that there's at least some demand at that level. The problem with a normal explanation of a break pullback is that it doesn't describe any trap trading at all as price breaches that level. So the only reason there should be some demand there is based on the fact that people like the trade aesthetically. But for me, that's not enough. I need that human consequence to be involved in the trade. I want that psychological leverage of my opponent. I want people jumping out of those trades at break even as I enter to go long. But if price just goes from one end of the range to the other and just sails through that level without selling off first, that's not an area on a chart where I'd like to do business. So always make sure you get that confirming price action so it looks as if the trade was actually going to work out for those traders. And then it goes through the level aggressively beyond that point. Just so you can get a clear understanding of what I mean. Let's draw that level again without all the scribbles. So price was selling off and people were making money and it looked as if it was selling off again so that's the key part to this that's that confirming price action because if we were to draw a vertical line and we were to discount that any of this price action had happened yet at the hard right edge that would have very much looked like it was selling off i.e doing exactly what it had done in several occasions previously and it had worked just fine and made those traders money but then price breaks through that level aggressively trapping those traders in here and moving against their position as price comes back into that location, those traders who were trapped will exit those short positions and the way they do that is buy into exit, which helps the price ultimately trade higher. So the next time you notice a break pullback setting up, always make sure there's some confirming price action prior to the trap occurring and that should improve the chances of you having a profitable outcome. Next up, the rat trap return, which occurred in this area here. The key to understanding how rat traps form has a lot to do with understanding 
what price action was doing prior to the trap setting. It's no good for traps to set in the center of a range. There's not that many people interested and it's not that eye catching. What draws people into taking trades is generally the price action itself. So if not much is happening, then it follows that not many people are involved. And for a good trap, the more the merrier. So let's take a look at the price action pre-trap. We have a big drop in price here, followed by another nice drop in price. What this does is it draws the reactive trader, who for the most part are technical traders, into taking some risk. As price drops strongly, it encourages them to conceptualize the trade, physically move, and then actually risk some money. The more obvious this move, the better. So price makes a new low, followed by a lower high, followed by a lower low, lower high, got a definition of a trend going on. And then finally, price spikes the low, inducing and seducing those breakout traders into taking some short positions. No sooner do they do that, however, price rallies aggressively against their position. What I want you to do is put yourself in the shoes of the traders who sold in here and had held on to that position as price reaches this point on the chart. Imagine their trading psychology. How's life working out for them? Imagine they're taking too much risk. Is profit their number one objective now? Or is it getting out the trade alive? Their expectations have adjusted from taking those short positions and hoping for profit. It's now just about getting out of break even. And because of that, that creates demand in this area because if you sell, you must buy to exit. There are some other factors going on here that improve the chances of this being a good buy, which I discuss in detail in my live trade room. If you'd like to join me to get analysis on all the trades I'm taking and all the traps I'm considering, I'd love to see you there. Just click the button below to join me for today's live trade room. It's a great time to get involved so you start the new year on the right footing. Have a great day and I hope to see you there.